Hi, my name is Lonpa. I'm a member of the original Sovereign Tribal Federation. On the 21st of August 2021, there were Freedom Day rallies held all over the planet and all across Australia. A lot of these rallies turned into violent episodes with the police perpetrating violence against the protesters and arresting and, and, and injuring a lot of people. In Darwin, we held a rally and the rally was peaceful. The police did not um, interfere with the rally and, and, and the rally continued and, and everybody got to have their say. The reason being is the Latakia Tribal Council asserted their sovereignty over the rally. They stood down the police and told the police that they have no jurisdiction or authority and we don't need permission from the uh, Darwin City Council to hold a rally on tribal land. So uh, my elder, uh, Jimmy Fijo, um, granted the rally permission to, uh, to continue and, and stood down the police and it was a peaceful rally. Please, guys, please. Please. Sir, what's your name, sir? My name is Lonpo, Yamba Yimba. What's your name? Just having a conversation. Aaron, don't call me, sir. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, no, I'm no slave. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What I was about to say to you, yep. okay, is we're trying to work with your people. We're trying to do the best thing we can and do it as easy as possible. There is an opportunity for you today for this not to get out of here and to not go in ways that we shouldn't have to. Okay, there's an opportunity that we can do this at another time when you can get a, a legal permit system. Okay. We, have, we, have, we have the only lawful permit system that's required the under law. tribal law. Your laws, your laws are fictitious. The problem is you're with that. Mate, you're, you're, you're a corporate agent. I should be making a citizen's arrest on you. That's the reality. The problem you wanna, is no, no, no. You want to talk about law, we should be arresting you. And, uh, well, well, if you want to... If you want to talk yeah, about, if you want to talk about law, if you want to talk about law, yous are impersonating public officers. We should be making citizens arrest upon yous as corporate agents impersonating public officers, protecting pedophiles, right? While you run a system that's harming the people, we should be arresting you. It should be the other way around. You need to understand your position and know that we know where you live. We understand. We know where you live. We should be formulating. Uh, citizens arrest upon these officers for committing fraud and treasons yeah. against the people. Yeah. That's the reality. Yeah. So if it's yeah. going to yeah. get out of hand, yeah. it will get out of hand. Yeah. That's your call. Yeah. You're imposing yeah. laws on the people. We don't want that. We don't want that either. Yeah. We, we just want to make our public statements as sovereign tribal people, protecting Australian citizens. These people are living on sovereign tribal land. They come under sovereign protection, not the corporate fictitious laws that you're imposing on, on these people, harming us all. We are here to make a public statement. We are not here to harm anybody. We no, are we, we are doing it peacefully. But, but you are the ones, you're, you've got an armed weapon. Mate, I'm scared because you've got an armed weapon and you're a corporate agent impersonating a public officer, you think threatening you us. You want. You're making no one, threats. No you're making, you said it's going to get out of hand. No now, if it's going to get out of hand, it's you who are going to make it out of hand. We're, we're here peacefully. We're trying to work with you. Okay, my friend, we are here under sovereign law. You have no jurisdiction. You best leave so we can make our public statements, enjoy our day, and we'll go away peacefully. That's the best option for all of us. Are you going to let me speak for a second? Absolutely. Okay. We came here and had our. We were trying to have a peaceful conversation. We are having a peaceful conversation. No, you've been yelling at me. No, no, I haven't been yelling at you. I've been assertive. Okay. We come here and we had a peaceful conversation with Chris as the event organiser. Yep. We've told him the things like that the council didn't approve this event to occur today. The and constitution okay, doesn't allow finish? for three tiers can of government. I, the council's I, unlawful. Continue. Right. The other thing that we spoke about, right, was the fact that the uh, chief health officer has given directions for people to wear masks when they can't social distance, all right? And if they're drinking or eating, they must be seated when they're uh, uh, drinking or eating in a public place, right? You know how ludicrous that sounds? I, it's not for me. So the virus gets us at this height, but if we sit and eat, we're right. Come on, man. Stop yeah. bullshitting us. Stop playing the game. Come on, man. The chief officer, bring the chief officer down here and tell him to bring his no, qualifications. It's all about limiting. It's all about limiting as much as possible. It's not about... We, un we do understand the, the what you're saying. The threat of what? The threat of draconian laws that are forcing... Saying. Forcing uh, trial vaccines into people and harming us? But you know what? Forcing masks onto people Listen, and harming us? Okay. Again, I've been trying to speak, but you keep going over the top. Don't it. All right? Continue. Okay. So where we could negotiate on some things that could occur today, you've taken that out of our hands by doing what you're doing. Yep. Right? The, the one thing we've asked for straight up was ensuring compliance with the Chief Health Officer directions, and that is the wearing of masks and social distancing. Okay? 
that is one thing that certainly will be enforced today for the protection of people in the community. No, you're, you're harming people. You know, the guy who brought it here was actually double vaccinated. That's why they're actually covering it up, because I've got someone who knows the exact person in the I, I, I hear what you're saying, but... The, no, look, look, I've been what, trying to be reasonable. I know you're not, my friend. I know you're not, Daniel. Look, look, I don't want to be rude either. But the reality is, making all these people wear masks is raising the carbon dioxide by, not, by more than 9,000 times the recommended danger risk for human beings. So you want everyone here to harm themselves because of a person sitting in a corporate position that's been given a label as a chief medical officer that ain't qualified for anything? That, that is no medical officer? That doesn't have the ability to assess both sides of it and, and care about our health? We care about, I care about you, my friend. I'm sad that you are being forced to wear masks. They are harming you. You are harming yourself. I'm sad, sad for you, as I am for you trying to force us to have to wear those masks. And that's the reality. Nobody wants to harm themselves. And by you doing that as corporate agents, under the Nuremberg trial, the Yamashita standard, and the Roman statute, you are personally and vicariously liable. You force masks on all these people, we can probably prosecute you personally and your corporate agents and your superiors under a commercial lien, then we will. And we'll take your houses and we'll take your possessions and so, your, wa your wage isn't worth it. So, so how, do you, how do you think we go about this today? Because we're not leaving. Neither so, are we. So, how do you think that we go about Join this? Us. Take your mask off. Oh, take your mask off and, and serve and protect the people like yeah. you're supposed to. The one thing we take your mask off and stand with the people. That's, that's, that's how we can go forward. The one thing we can't do is the mask. Can you listen to what we have to say? Before thing, we leave, the one thing we can't do is the mask. If there's general compliance with the masks, I'm happy for the uh, whoever is going to stand there and give their speech. But there has to be a general compliance with the mask. Work with us. Work right, with we're, us. We're, we're, we're working with you, right? But the reality is, I cannot wear a mask. I'm sure many people here can. I have an exemption. I have a health issue. I will not wear a mask because I don't want to harm You're myself. Speaking for you, and people are required to show. I'm, I'm sure every person here is not wearing a mask. People have to, to be able to provide evidence. Okay. All we're saying to you is, is there's general compliance with masks. I'll allow you to have your speeches and that sort of stuff. I'm not here for the carry on about oh, I've got an exemption. People have to show me their uh, excuse. That's what it says. No, we don't. Well, it's, it's not law. I, I can see you over that, my friend. You're forcing me to provide my medical advice to you. I'm it's already not, I'm not providing. I'm not providing. I'm not asking to provide medical advice. It says show you evidence. Said, you just right? show evidence. Okay. Mate, my evidence I, is my word. I, As I am standing I, here in front of you, a lawman, I'm a tribal lawman, yeah. right? I, I ain't a part of your fictitious world. This is the senior lawman for this continent, yeah. for this land here. He holds authority over you yeah. uh, and anybody in this corporate entity. I do not want to be harmed, and I don't think anybody else on our tribal estate should be harmed, and they come under his protection and my protection. Mate, we, we, want, we, we do not want to have conflict with you. We do, we do not want to... But you're driving us into conflict by saying... You are. You're forcing us. Mate, can I suggest something? Yeah. Can I suggest something? Yeah. The amount of time you're standing here talking, he could be reading out his speech. Yeah, and all I'm Why asking can't... for is these. I know. And that's it. And he can read his speech. But this time we're spending having this conversation, Absolutely. we're still not wearing it. We could read the speech in this time and you can listen to what he has to say. It's all the people around, right? We've got masks, we can give everyone masks, right? Are you going to arrest everyone here for not it's wearing not a mask? A fine. And I don't want to have to hand out fines. What I'm asking for... Then don't. What I'm asking you don't have for to. is a general compliance with the trade direction in terms of uh, wearing the mask, all right? We're seeing evidence already in an Aboriginal community in New South Wales where COVID-19 is going through that community. But are you also looking at the that? evidence that's proving that this we, stuff is harming people? We, we or are you only looking at the evidence that you choose to look at? People getting sick in hospital and being in hospital for COVID-19 is evidence enough on its own. Sure. What about all the kids that are being stolen and molested and killed? You aren't protecting them, are you? There's 8 million children that go missing yearly. Right. This corporation is a part of that pedophile system. Scott Morrison gave Mr. Houston a free ticket to America to escape prosecution for covering up pedophile through the Hillsong Church. That's what's leading this country. That's who you represent. Hang on, man. We're going to talk about one Aboriginal community that potentially has got this virus. Okay. There are many things going on in our trust The reality is, more children are going missing on this country from the pedophile running the system than 
the actual bar at the time with people. And you're standing here as a police officer wanting to find people from around the bar? Oh, come on, man. When are you just going to wake up and join well, the people? Yes. Uh, it's going to be tiring for you. And look, it's it's going to be, about that. I mean, this bar here right now, we're willing to allow you to have your speeches and all those sorts of things. We're asking for is compliance with the mask. Daniel, all, all I can say is some people are complying yeah. and some people and some people aren't. Well, that's their as choice. The leader, as the leader, there's no leader here, brother. We're, we're, there's no leader. We're all one. And why don't you join us? Why don't you show some honour and join us? Why don't you come over and wearing the mask? No, As a person that's about to give a speech, you're in an influential position no, no, where you can say to people, sorry, where the crowd is going to talk about these things that are concerning you, but please comply with the requirement to wear a mask while you're here today. That is a safety thing for people that are here. That's all I'm asking. Yeah. No, the answer's, the answer's no. Yeah. 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 So are we, my friend. We've been told, hey, these are unlawful laws and we as the population have been told. I'm very reasonable too. People are going to push their way back and you accept that there's some difference. You guys need to pick what side you are. Are you with the corporate conglomerates? That is what I'm saying. Manipulating this corporate government? It's not a government. It's a corporation. I can prove the true fact. If you hang around, I'll read it out. And we will understand. That's why I'm coming out and work with you. And that is the best way to ensure the safety. So we can all sort of just get done with it. I know you get done. So am I, my friend. But what I'm asking you, if you want to start your speech, start your speech. But what I would like you to do is start your speech. Ask those who are coming out and doing the same thing. I'm not going to tell people to comply with something that I refuse to do because it harms me. They were, uh, that's you. Then I'm complicit. I'm complicit in harm. That's why I've done it. They're out in the country. That's assault. But you want me to tell everyone to put a mask on? No, all I'm saying is... There is a lot of people here that do not have medical exemptions to wear a mask. Okay? Notwithstanding what you're telling me, but your own personal circumstances. Okay? What I'm saying is, is that as the person that's going to be influential in giving a speech to all of these people, what I'm asking you to do is not go and say, tell the cops you've got a medical reason. What I'm asking you to say is, we can proceed with delivering these speeches as long as we're going to proceed with these, 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 we're going, to, we're going to proceed. Whether, 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 he, whether he's like that. Have you ever been in a lot of people? All right, we can arrest him. He's under total uh, protection. If you arrest him, you arrest all of us. Yeah, you are. 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 You sovereign tribal man and our law i'll tell you what the only law is that exists here brother you see that do you know what that is you know what that is i've got every respect for the gentleman behind me and i'm not saying anything all i'm saying is that all an influential person is about to give a speech is that you we're here out of peace. We're here respectfully. You are coming to this place, interfering with our right to make a public statement. That's all we're doing. We're, we're here to make a public statement. We're peacefully going away. No one to be harmed. And there is no COVID because there is no, there is no pandemic, my friend. I've been making them kill us. How do I explain people getting sick? Well, uh, well the food and the spit. The food that you be feeding us, the chemicals in the water, the chemicals and the news that you be feeding into our minds. Freedom. That's why we're sick. Freedom! 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 Freedom!
Oh, with the mask for their own oh. safety. What if we tell them 1.5 metres and everyone fans out? And We've got masks to give to people. Except, yeah, but if but, they, but if a lot of people don't. Yeah, if they're 1.5, that's fine. But okay, a lot well, of them, let's do that. But yeah. mo so, mo most people aren't wearing it because they know the health risks. Yeah. That's that's the problem. Yeah. Right? Now, sense. for me to convince everyone that it's yeah. not yeah. bad for you, when I know it's we, bad we for you, we will have more luck. I'm just I'm deceiving. How about we How about we spread everyone out to 1.5? Yep. And 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 keep a safe distance. That's a reasonable. How about we do that, brother? Because the reality of getting masks on everyone. People are going to start arguing with us. Uh, We're going to be here for three hours wasting your time. We've got masks people want to wear masks. We've got masks that yeah. we can give to people. But then okay. there's going to be people happy. resisting and we're going to be having 40 We're conversations. Happy. We're happy to give people masks and tell them. The police have got masks up here. They'll hand masks out to those that want to wear it and stay close together. For everyone else that can't main, uh, maintain, must maintain that 1.5, that is what we've been told is the safe. I know that distance. you've got obviously different yeah. uh, view. Well, how about but we ask everyone to social distance? Uh, hey, thank how you. About, how about thank we ask everyone to do that? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. I can do that, but I, I'm not going to make it, tell people is to wear masks. Is there any way you can ask for the We're people that may want to wear it? We have masks that we can give you. How about, how about I say, if you want a mask and you don't have one, we please go and see the police. Yes. And and please please um please just spread out. Yeah, all right, for. let's yeah. do that, don't you? Yeah. That, 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 that makes a good day for all of us. And you can uh, uh, go on with your speeches and that all right. sort of stuff. All right. All right. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Social distancing, the mask, and we've got masks to give to people. If they choose not to wear a mask, please maintain 1.5. And then you can have your speeches and everything else as you intended to do. No, it's a, it's a peaceful, a peaceful environment. We're not here to cause trouble. Yep. All right. We're here to get to seek a resolution, a sensible resolution between everyone. Can I ask you something, man to man? Yeah. As a lawman, when are you going to stand with the people? You swore an oath to uphold yep. and protect the people. This corporate system is harming us. You live here. Your children live here. Yeah. All right. You're a part of us. Why are you taking the side of a corporate conglomerate that's that's manipulating this corporate government to harm the people? Okay, the only thing I can say to that is I understand that there's a side that says COVID doesn't exist and there's scientists that say COVID does exist, okay? At the moment, my employer, the Northern Territory Police, one of the things that says in the Police Administration Act is my job is to serve and protect. So I go by that uh, as my ethos for everything I do every day. And the scientists are saying that COVID is going to... And so for me, at the moment, I feel that there's a requirement to wear a mask to protect the people. So based That's on what you position. just said then, if I provide the evidence to the commissioner, mm -hmm. we'll use that to serve and protect. Whatever. If I provide the evidence that yeah. proves that this again, is, again, this is that's a hoax, not a, yeah. and that we're being harmed by the vaccine, we're being yeah. harmed by being forced to do this, people don't need a mask and indoors. What yeah. they need is vitamin D yeah, yeah. and fresh air. I get that. Vitamin D kills. Yeah. Kills. I'm not, it's that simple. I'm not here to argue those points with you. I accept and I understand what you're saying. All right. All right. Well, well we, we have an agreement, so yep. let's let's let's, let's, um, let's make that happen. Right. Right. Daniel, Daniel Sheen. Yeah. I'll contact you, Daniel. Where, yeah. where are you based? Down I'll contact you. Yeah. I'll actually bring evidence and documentation. Yeah. Oh, and I've read it. I've read. I, I, I can tell you right now. I've read both sides. Oh, you haven't read what I got. Okay. That's no. fine. Oh, well, let me put it to you this way. We're currently in the British High Court. Yeah. CO 588 2020. Yeah. The Australian government acquiesced by silence as of the 20th of March 2020 to prove that they are a lawful, legitimate government. Yeah. Okay. They're 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 they're, they're done. Okay. So, so it's not a government, it's a corporation. Yeah. Let's go All right, let's go. We'll, we'll go in and do that, Thank Daniel. you. Yep. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Welcome you. to country and speak to everyone. Hello. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to um, welcome you to our country. I'm a Larrakia man. And um, like this is a peaceful meeting and hope we can get our points across. Um, I'd like you to, I'd like to welcome you to the Nakama, the Namadas, the Najima, the Nidjums, and the Mabalas. That's the song line of this country. And I welcome you, Mabia, to our Annie Yurima. Annie Yurima means our country. It means the whole of Australia is our promised land. Still to this day. Um, I'd like to um, hand the nephew over. He can be my interpreter. Um, young David Coles. And uh, 
poultry, they all get most of our message out. Thank you, Uncle Jimmy, and I value your knowledge, guidance and teachings. Thank you to Chris for the opportunity to speak, and thank you, Chris, for your tireless work to protect the people. I think we all need to put our hands together for this man. It's no question that if we were in the 5th century, this Greek warrior would be out the front with a Spartan helmet on, fighting for our freedom. I acknowledge the land I'm standing on, Latakia land. This is sovereign tribal land. This is not corporate Darwin City Council land. This is not corporate Northern Territory government land. This is sovereign Latakia land. The gathering here today has been given permission by the, 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 one of the most senior lawmen. Oh, here he is. One of the most senior lawmen for the Latakia people, Uncle Jimmy Fiji. So you all stand here under the protection of sovereign tribal law. My name is David. My tribal name is Lonpa. I stand before you simply as a man. I stand here as a tribal man a sovereign tri on sovereign tribal lands. I am no part of this fictitious fraudulent and treasonous system. I acknowledge and thank everyone that's here today. And I acknowledge all the truth speakers and freedom fighters all over the world. In unity, we seek freedom. I acknowledge the Suvlaki Grill and Chill for standing for our human rights. We all need to stand with you. Your fight is our fight. Why are we here today? We're tired, we're sick, and we're frustrated from the corporate, draconian, totalitarian rules being enforced upon us by people um, uh, armed by people armed, um, who are nothing but uh, corporate agents um, and, and nothing but private mercenaries. That's all the police are, okay? They are not legitimate lawful officers. They are not peace officers. They are corporate private military agents. There is no pandemic. There is only fear mongering to enslave the people and harm the people for the corporate greed of a wealthy few. There is no killer virus. Yes, coronavirus has been around for 100 years, but it is simply a mild form of the flu. The COVID-19 virus is a laboratory-made virus developed in the US and released in China. It is a bioweapon. I'm going I'm to drag out, but I'm sorry, but I, I'm going to give you 15 years of research in, in one moment. This, this pandemic is a mask for the already collapsed fiat currency system that has already imploded. The US corporate government failed to pay their interest rate on their debt on the 14th of February 2021. All fiat currencies have a 34-year 30, life cycle. This cycle is at 64 years, 68 years, sorry, and it is bust. It is done. This is nothing but a mask for that system that has collapsed. There is a global corporate hustle to who will control the new world reserve currency, and given China is thriving, they make a great target to attack and blame for crashing the global financial price uh, markets. But it is the West and the greedy elites who have created this fiasco for us all through their greed and criminal actions. The COVID-19 is a bioweapon manufactured in the US, released in China, which has become the West's new boogeyman. The fake, pa the fake pandemic has been used to usher in the new world order, one world government, and un unlawfully erode all our basic human rights. When they had the first lockdown, Mullandiri McCarthy, a federal minister, pulled me up in Woolworths in town here and she said to me, I'm very concerned about the laws that they are passing while we are on lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. Right? While we're all hiding from a mythical, scary virus, they are passing laws that are eroding our basic human rights. They are passing laws that are bringing in a, 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 a deep state, a corporate state that is, that is taking away our freedom and liberties. And I'll, I'll give you some evidence to that. The Defence Legislation Amendment, Enhancement of Defence Force Response to Emergencies Bill 2020. This was passed while we were on lockdown um, not long ago. It amends the Defence Act 1903 to, to streamline the process for calling out members of the Australian Defence Force, Reserves 
including for the purposes of responding to natural disasters or emergencies and provide the ADF members other these are either sorry apologies um, defense personnel and members of foreign forces with immunity from criminal civil liability in certain cases while performing duties to, su to support civil emergency and disaster preparedness, recovery and response. What that says is foreign soldiers and soldiers here are immune from any criminal, um, any criminal charges for, 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 for enforcing these draconian laws on us, the people. Okay, that is scary. That means that foreign soldiers can kill us and get away with it, right? That is not democracy and that is not Australia. This is of concern. If you are a civilian, a police officer, a military, domestic or foreign, all must and should be held accountable for any crime. Why would a government provide immunity and protection for, for domestic and foreign soldiers to, meet, to commit crimes and have immunity? Why? It's so they can enforce their corporate draconian rules through force and use foreign private soldiers to do so. Because I do not believe most local police and military would harm their fellow Australians. And to the men in, in uniform, I don't believe that they would either. Okay? Right, they need to stand with the people. Okay? You, you, need to, you need to stand down these corporate warlords that are harming us. That's your responsibility. We have no protection or recourse if we get sick or die from or if we get sick or die from these experimental vaccines. Under the PrEP Act, companies like Pfizer and Moderna have total immunity from liability if something un unintentionally goes wrong with their vaccines. This means if you die, you cannot sue them for killing you. The pharmaceutical industry is the biggest industry that exists and sick people um, are good business. If you die from pharmaceutical drugs, the most you can sue for is $240,000. If you die from vaccines, you have no recourse. Vaccines have become a safe haven for the few elites to create their next wealth production. Pfizer predicts a $58 billion profit from these early rollouts. It's all about business and, humani um, and humanity is the commodity at the expense of genocide against the population. The US Congress has, has realized their population is sick on pharmaceutical drugs and have tightened their approval on many drugs. So they are merely shifting their business from pharmaceuticals to vaccine because they can't be sued. The patents for these vaccines were developed in 2001 for COVID. So somebody had a crystal ball and created a vaccine for a virus that was yet to be released by a bat in China 20 years later. This is a long plan uh, attempt to depopulate while they usher in the new world order one world government and to create a new era which we are being farmed by these criminal elites and sold out by these corporate agents impersonating public officers enforced by these corporate agents holding weapons. Yeah. I realised many years ago something was wrong with this government. I set out to find answers as to um, who they are and what I found was this. Each and every state and territory is its own privately owned corporate country government registered on the stock exchange, registered under the Unidroit and Unidroit is registered in the Vatican. Okay. The NT government registration number is 840-857-34992. Every state and territory, the police association, they have their own corporate number. These are corporations. We are not being governed by a government. We are being governed by corporate agents who are committing fraud and treason against us, the people. They are corporations run by corporate agents imposing unlawful laws on the population, harming the people and our families while they deprive us of our liberty and freedom and harm us with bioweapons developed to depopulate humanity. This is the greatest crime against humanity in the history of our recorded existence. We must resist. Let me educate you. Why are these corporate laws, in, why are these corporate laws invalid? I'll tell you why. On the 24th of October in 1970, the United Nations passed a resolution 262525, which stipulates the following. To bring about a speedy end to colonization, having due regard to the freely expressed will of the people's concern. The Crown formally withdrew from this continent in 1973, to which the Australian government had an opportunity to do the lawful thing according to the 1900 constitution, which states there is only two ways that you can change laws in this country. One is by royal seal of assent, the Crown must approve the laws that, that you want to change, or it must be of a referendum of the people. 
1973, when the Crown departed this continent, the government did not have a referendum. They did not get royal seal of assent. They said, shh, don't tell the black fellas, don't tell the white fellas, let's set up a corporation and we'll run it as a business. And that's all it is. The government didn't either, and this is reflected in the Australian Law Journal, which warned the government back then what they were doing was in breach of the Constitution and unlawful, and that they were steering the ship off course. Sir Harry Gibbs, who is a retired High Court judge, now deceased, he sums it up best. I therefore have come to the conclusion that the current legal and political system in use in Australia and the states and territories has no legal basis in law. If the laws aren't legal, what they are doing to us is unlawful. Okay, This is a crime against us. No laws have been valid since 1973, however, under tribal law, no Westminster law has been valid here since 1788. The only law that has any validity on this continent, and this land here, is here, the tribal people. They knew this from the beginning, and, 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 and we, the tribes, already had our own law system and parliament system in place, and still do to this very day. In fact, the only law that holds any validity on this continent is tribal law, and it is our way to look after and care for everybody who is on our tribal lands. That's why you come under the protection of the tribal people here today. Yeah. Right, right now we have 25 million people who have no legitimate government and are being harmed on our lands by a corporate entity. This is wrong, and it's time the Australian and Aboriginal people stand united to lawfully stand down these corporate agents and through the approval of the tribes um, who are the only ones who can, who, can, who can approve a government here and offer to the Australian people a lawful and honourable government that we will serve the people rather than remain slaves to the corporate elite who are committing genocide against humanity. There are cures for the, for the natural occurring coronavirus which is a mild form of the flu. Coincidentally, the flu deaths have gone to zero and the COVID deaths are exactly the same as the average flu deaths each year. Coronavirus is seasonal and follows a six to nine month cycle and then, they, then it will fade. Common sense must prevail, people. In North America, the average COVID death age is 78.6 and the average death in North America is 78.6. You must wear a mask while ordering food, but you will not be affected if you sit down. You must social distance in airports, but then get on a plane. I measured within 1.5 metres of me and there's 16 people around me. If you get a vaccine, you can still be a carrier, but you must get a follow-up shots to be sure you're protected. I, I, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't live under UV light, the sun. It dies, in, it, it dies in ventilation. The wind blows it away. And it's absolute insanity that we are being forced to wear masks inside and out and stay indoors increasing the risk. The carbon dioxide levels um, in the masks Raise the, raise the carbon dioxide levels to 9,000 times higher than the recommended human safety level. The swabs actually, the swabs that they're using to do the test with, they, 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 are, they, are, um, they, are, they are cleaned and, and sterilised with ethylene oxide, which is a high carcinogenic that causes several forms of cancers. And they are swabbing our babies with that stuff. We called the company last week, a lawyer. We called the company and we told them, what, what is the effect of that? They say, if you get it on you, in you anywhere, seek medical advice. When we said to them, are you aware that they're sterilising the nasal swabs with your chemical? They went dead quiet. I dare say they're scrambling now to fix that because they're complicit and they're liable. There is no flu. There is no flu in cold season, only vitamin D deficiency season. 2,000 genes in our bodies are controlled by vitamin D. 5% of our body's genome is controlled by vitamin D. It is the master key to our immune system, but they tell us to stay inside and wear masks. If you are vitamin D deficient, you are susceptible to all flus and viruses. Normal vitamin D levels reduces the COVID hospitalization by 90%. That's the World, um, that's the, the World Health Organization's database on scientific fact. There is a treatment for, 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 for this disease. The federal government, oh, sorry, if there is a treatment for a disease, the federal government cannot approve vaccine by law, all right? Ivermectin kills coronavirus 99% of the time. It's cheap and it's been used for many years, but suddenly it's outlawed. What? Why? Because it offers a solution that does not require vaccine, which de destroys their vaccine industry, and it is safe with no adverse effects. There are many other cures that are being ignored for the sake of trial vaccines. 
Those who say, I've had it and I'm fine, must keep in mind that most side effects will take several months before the effect uh, takes time to kill you. I personally know people who've had the vaccine and died within a fortnight. I have family members who have had the vaccine and been thrown out for heart operations within days. Okay, These are the stats that they're hiding. There is, a, there is blood on the hands of those who have denied populations clean, cheap cures. And many who, have, who have, many who have died have died in vain. This does not include the death rates from people having the vaccine. This is a crime against humanity on a mass scale, and we the people are the target. The list goes on and on, and the hypocrisy of this fraud is laughable. I want to apologise up front. I want to apologise up front. I'm going to talk about something very, very sensitive. Okay, um, and and if I trigger anyone, please hang around for a talk, or please, please, um, please speak to someone or get help. But I can't hide this fact. We're talk we're all hiding from a mythical virus, right? The real pandemic is the child abuse. All right. You want to talk facts? I'm a youth worker. The reason I found this truth is because I found out the system is abusing our kids in the system. Yeah. And they cover it up. And when I highlighted it, they, they, they call me a whistleblower. And they cut our funding. And they deny us the right to keep our children alive because I have highlighted the fact that the system is causing more abuse within the system for the reasons they're taking our children away. Yeah. Let's be real. This is the real reality. I have first-hand evidence of high-level child abuse, rape and murder at the top of the system, both in the NT and nationally, which has all been tabled within the state and federal governments and, slept, and simply swept under the carpet and covered up. I have received personal witness statements from people who have been subjected to the sick, satanic behaviour that takes place within the Freemasons across this country. This is a global sickness. There are currently 29 suppression orders in the federal Australian government for high-level child abuse rings operating all the way to the top of this government. One suppression, just one suppression order in particular, involves 28 prominent Australians, two of which are ex-Prime Ministers of Australia, and these files have been suppressed by the Parliament for 89 years. Bill Heffernan has tried, to, tried in vain to have these suppression orders overturned, but they remain suppressed. Such crimes cannot be suppressed, but they do, because they're a corporation. And like Peter Maley said to me, he said, we just change the rules and move you on. And that's all they do. It's not law, okay? Because like any corporation, they merely change the rules, make them up as they go, and protect themselves from prosecution. We are dealing with criminals, people. Eight million children disappear every year around the world, with only 17% being recovered. That means 6.3 million children vanish, and we are concerned about a mythical virus. Only 60% of the countries record missing children, so that figure would be far greater than the 40, um, um, given, given the 40% are not recording the number of missing children each year. This is, this is a real global pandemic. This is the pandemic. Now, if you think this issue is foreign, a foreign issue, you're wrong. If you think it's a tinfoil hat conspiracy theory, you're wrong. I've seen the evidence. I've provided to federal ministers, okay? The information has been intercepted by various agents and they're not acting. We have evidence of children being sacrificed under Hillsong Church in Western Sydney and this evidence was tabled in the New South Wales Parliament on the 17th of September in 1997 uh, by the Honourable Frank Arena. Look it up. And this evidence was again swept under the carpet. These are children being murdered. These are children being tortured. And what, and what does this so-called Prime Minister of Australia, Scott Morrison, do? He gives his mate, Brian Houston, the founder of Hillsong Church, a green card to leave the country where he's fled to the US and now probably hiding in Mexico in one of his churches. He has an arrest warrant out for him for child, uh, uh, for covering and concealing um, child, child abuse. And Morrison gives him a free ticket out. That's the insanity we're living with. Last year, a close friend and associate of mine report, reported child abuse in Maureen, New South Wales. This led to 135 arrests across uh, several states and resulted in 78 children being rescued me, being rescued who were zip tied under a basement in South Australia last year. Did anyone see that on the news? Absolutely not. And I'll tell you why. Because the media is owned by the same corporate conglomerates who are running this entire fraud. The scaremongering and the covering up of such crimes by the media makes them complicit in the injury, harm and loss we all face. 
and I'm sure I saw Aiden here. I'm sure they'll snip out what they want to tell the story. They won't tell the truth. The child abuse across the planet is real. It's a real pandemic. And those controlling this corporate government rule our so-called public officers through bribery, blackmail, and coercion. And for the most, there are, um, for the most, sorry, there are, there are politicians, they simply say nothing and they lose their free ride and good money while we all suffer. It's time we stand down these criminal corporate agents as the people. Um, each, and every, each and every bureaucrat, politician, police officer and military agent unknowingly or unwillingly committing criminal offences under the Constitution Crimes Act. Merely the crime of impersonating a public officer carries a three-year prison sentence. We have combined all the crimes that they're committing and it amounts to 29 years imprisonment, notwithstanding the injury, harm and loss they are causing us, the people, from their illegal actions. They are not lawful public officers, they are corporate agents. These are not lawful laws, they, are, they operate under statute which constitutes military rule under the Libra Code. Are we at war? These so-called laws are nothing more than corporate rules and the entire system, including the judicial system, are complicit in upholding these crimes against us, the people. The police and military are, in fact, private mercenary corporate agents who are supposed to serve and protect the people, not serve these corporate criminals. But the NT Police Association is also its own privately registered corporate entity and we are simply business to them. That's why they're going around trying to find us all for not wearing masks and stuff. Okay, they're just trying to build up their revenue. You know why? Because the NT government, like the fiat currency in the US government, is bankrupt. They have no money, right? They're bleeding us. Every corporate agent impersonating public officers enforcing these draconian laws are not void of liability. Under the Nuremberg Trials 1946 to 49, under the Yamashita Standard 1946, and under the Roman Statute 1998, and effective as of 2002, which Australia is a signatory to, you cannot say you are merely following orders or taking orders and cannot plead ignorance. All agents of the government and all private contractors, agents per, uh, personally and vicariously liable for their actions. Every corporate agent knowingly harming us, the people, just like the German soldiers who are committing genocide against humanity, should all be held accountable for their crimes against us. Nearly done. Sorry. Where are the honourable police and military? Where are you? Okay. Join us. You signed up to serve, the, serve and protect the people. You just told me that, Daniel. You work for us, not for a corporation. You swear your oath to the people, but it's time you stand up and hold the rule of law, because based on legal facts. None of this is legal, and it is your personal responsibility to act. Stand up. Your failure to act makes you complicit. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we need assertive action. We need lawful rebellion. We need to unite as humanity against this attempted genocide. And when we, the people, realise that the power rests with the people and we unite, we can free the people from these tyrannical laws. We cannot march here today and rest tomorrow. We need a set of action to hold these corporate agents accountable. We need to meet regularly as people and plan and strategize what actions we will take. We need good legal advice. Any lawyers, step forward. Okay? We need good legal advice and guidance on the process of lawful citizens' arrest under lawful rebellion. We need to do this peacefully and we need to do it lawfully. But we need legal people to assist us, and we need good men to stand forward. We need to act. Our freedom and our liberty is at stake. But worst of all, so are our lives and those of our families and fellow human beings. We must stand in unity. It is the key, unity. The sovereign tribal people of these lands call on all Australians to stand with us in unity. As a member of the original Sovereign Tribal Federation, we extend our hands to all residing on this continent to stand with us 
and together we can erode the sickness governing our lives and build a healthy future for all Australian people in partnership with the true sovereigns of these lands and through the only law that holds any validity on this continent, we urge the, we, we, we urge the protective services to stand with the people, not with the corporate agents harming us all. A barrister once told me, if you witness a crime, you must report it. You must do something about it. Well, this is a crime that we must all expose and stand together, united as one, and seek justice for all. And ensure we do all we can to afford the people of Australia and the world their right to freedom, liberty, and our basic human rights. Anything less is given in on our current and future generations. I leave you with this. The power is not in the corporate agents harming us all. The power is in the people. We stand united. We stand, when we stand united for the freedom of us all, only then can we overcome this tyranny and fraud that threatens our very existence. Thank you. Please listen. You've held our blood on your hands willingly since you stepped foot on our sands. You leverage off our land and resources to fund your entire charade. We know who you are, no government of any sort, just an unlawful corporation using us as slaves. Built an industry reliant on our pain and trauma from the moment you tried to declare us flora and fauna. So why would you fund a cure for our suffering? Our deaths in custody are a byproduct of your gang hustling. You try to put us asleep with your fluoride 5G chemically GMO formed foods your vaccine programming boxes and elusive least, least media and fake news. But don't you see? Our ancestors remind us as they sing into our ear, so you better think twice since you can't stop us with fear. <clears throat> One second. You may have guns, but we have soul. Sovereign beings with wisdom more value than any amount of gold. You try every ism and schism to oppress us because you fear us. A system built on fraud and lies, trying everything in your false authority to stop the truth from being revived. But the truth will always prevail. And from here on out, your ship no longer sails, using your courtrooms and military rule to force in your admiralty law. What a mistake you made coming up against our tribal law. Dug a hole so deep for yourself, you can't get out. So here we stand in our true power telling you this ends now. Woo! Don't you police officers know? That oath you made to the crown is incorrect. You swore falsely, the crown already left. <laughs> now I don't give you hate or anger because I will never let you win or taint my spirit. Instead, I hope that you can see more clearly too and cut those puppet strings you're tied to. You say all lives matter, well clearly you forgot some. The black bodies who lay beneath the cities you stand on. Sacred burial sites ignored with the ultimate disrespect. Recognize us, where your karma in full effect. 